Hi dear friends, how are you all? Welcome to our YouTube channel HR Tutorials India. In this video, we will be discussing an essential tool that every organization needs that is Live Register. How to make or create Live Register or a sheet? Live Register or Sheet A Live Register is a key HR document used to be kept an accurate record of employee leave details. It helps track various leave types such as casual leaves, sick leaves, earned leaves, any other leaves, policies specific to an organization. By maintaining leave register, you can ensure compliance with labor laws, manage employee leaves systematically and streamline payroll processing. Stay tuned as we dive deep into its importance, structure and practical implementation. In this video, we will explore the purpose of a leave register and explain how to create and manage it practically using an Excel sheet. Importance of a leave register A leave register provides valuable insights into attendance pattern, enabling better planning and addressing potential productivity issues. Overall, it is a vital tool for fostering an organized and efficient workplace. Before we dive into the components and practical aspects, let us understand why maintaining a leave register is so important for organizations. Compliance with labor laws Many labor laws require organizations to maintain proper leave records. A leave register ensures adherence to the regulations and avoids legal complications. Accurate payroll processing A well-maintained leave register provides accurate leave data which is crucial for salary calculations especially in case of unpaid or leave adjustments. Effective workforce management By tracking leave systematically, managers can plan resources better, ensure smooth workflow and avoid disruptions caused by overlapping or excess leaves. Transparency and trust Maintaining a leave register promotes transparency between employees and the organizations. It ensures that employees are aware of their leave balances and entitlements. Performance and Attendance Insights A leave register helps analyze patterns such as frequent absenteeism which can impact productivity. This data is useful for performance reviews and corrective actions. Now that we have highlighted its importance, let's move on to the key components and practical steps for managing leave register effectively in an Excel sheet. Key Components of Leave Register Let's start by understanding the essential elements every leave register should have. Employee details. This section includes basic employee information such as the name, employee ID and the department. It ensures leave data is accurately associated with the right individual. Leave categories. List the varied types of leaves allowed by the organization such as casual leave, sick leave, earned leave, maternity leave, paternity leave or unpaid leave. This categorization helps in tracking and managing different types of leaves efficiently. Leave balances. Maintain column to show total leaves allotted, leave availed, remaining leave balance. This ensures that the employees and HR have clarity on leave entitlements. Leave dates. Record the exact dates when leaves are taken, making it easier to analyze trends and verify records during the audits. Approval status. Include a column to note whether the leave is approved or pending. This adds accountability and keeps the register up to the date. Practical Demonstration Let us see what all things will be involved in practical demonstration of creating a leave register using an Excel sheet. Formatting the sheet We will be forwarding the Excel sheet for creating a leave register. Then inputting the sample data We will enter or input the sample data into the Excel sheet for calculating the leaves for generating a leave register. Then applying formulas for the total counts We will be using certain formulas for calculating the leaves consumed and balance. Then we will be understanding the tips for ensuring accuracy and efficiency in creating an excel sheet for generating a leave records or leave register. So wasting no time, let's get into the practical part of this video, how to create an leave register using an excel sheet. Here I have opened a sample excel sheet, we will be writing a sheet name as 2024 as we are creating the leave register for the year 2024. And here we will enter the company name as ABC Company Private Limited. So here we will be using 5 fields. So I am just merging it. For entering the details, here we will enter the details such as serial number, then comes the employee ID, then comes the names of employee, then comes the designation, then comes the date of joining. After selecting, I will be using 2 fields uh, for having the details transparency. I'll merge these two fields so that the data is displayed properly. After selecting this, then click on wrap text, wherein the details will be clear, clearly displayed over here. After that, you need to adjust the fields and here you need to enter the numbers in serial number. I'm entering one and two and I'll just select this one, two and I'll drag it till 17 because I'll be entering the sample data for 17 employees. And you need to click on center uh, for adjusting into central alignment. 
here i need to enter the employee id i have created a sh another sheet where i have the details of all the employees like the employee ids name of the employees designation and date of joining i will be copy pasting over here for you you can just enter the data as per your human resource management records or as per your hr data i have entered the employee id name of the employees then the designation then date of joining after entering you can just make the alignment by double clicking on this field wherein all the details will be aligned here you can set all the fields and click on borders all borders so all the borders will be selected for making it presentable and you can select all these fields and click on control b for making it bold and you can increase the size of the company name then you need to come here and enter eligible privileged leaves now we need to see what is the leave here we need to understand the leave policy of each company every company has their own leave policies and the leaves entitlement for the employees here i am entering the general leaves allotted are entitled to the employees generally for every company so here i am entering earned leaves are privileged leaves then comes sick leaves then comes carry forward leaves then comes the balance leaves i'll just merge these buttons and wrap it i'll just bold it and here i'll just select all these fields and border it as per the leave policy of every company there are number of leaves which are entitled to employees generally the total earned leaves per annum will be 12 and sick leaves will be 6 and carry forward leaves which is nothing but the leaves which are left in the previous year will be forwarded to the next year so i'm just entering five leaves because most of the companies will be allowing only five leaves to be carry forward to the next year then comes the leave balance here we need to enter the formula which i'll be showing in the later part of this video so as these leaves are common for all the employees i'm just copy pasting for all the employees now the leaves entitlement part is completed now let's see how these leaves will be utilized by all the employees for the complete year starting from january till december on monthly basis here i'll be entering the month as january because the leave starts from as per the leave policy the leaves are entitled for a calendar year but not for financial Year. so the calendar year starts from january till december so after entering january you can just select this and drag this fields till december here you can see automatically the months are entered in the excel form here you need to select both the fields and make it and merge it for making it so that the fields are shown in a better way and all the details will be displayed over here after that select all these fields and select border and select all the remaining fields and click on border now it's looking better then you can bold it and as we have done in the previous sheet we can just do it here also by formatting the cells that is we can the alignment of the text can be changed so i'm just making the alignment change to be text to be changed to 90 degrees here you can see all the months are changed to vertical for making it visible you can just drag it now as the gaps are more you can just select this these fields and you can just align the fields closer here you can see all the fields are aligned now you can select all these fields and merge it and enter the heading as employee leave sheet or register for the year 2024 you can select it bold it and increase the size of this i have increased and have done it now you can just color these fields for making it more presentable here you can create one more field that is remarks where you can enter remarks if it is required whenever it's required you can just enter some remarks over here and you can color it and here also you can color the leaves with the different colors for making it more presentable after coloring you can just make the adjustments you can just make the adjustments you can select it and make it center line now you need to give the formula for leave balance leave balance is nothing but the total leaves that is earned leave sick leave and carry forward leaves together minus the leaves which are been taken so in simple words what we can say is that balance leaves is nothing but the total leaves allotted are given to an employee for that specific calendar year minus the leaves which has been utilized by the employee for that specific year here you can see that i'll be giving a formula by which we can calculate the balance leaves that is left out for that specific employee after taking the leaves for that specific month which will be easy for an hr to give information to the employee when the employee ask for their balance leaves which are been left out for that specific calendar year here i'll be giving a formula that is equal to sum 
open bracket and range range is nothing but earn leave sick leaves and carry forward leave then we need to close the brackets minus we need to subtract the leaves which has been taken for that specific calendar year for all the months so here we need to sum all the months that is by entering the formula sum open brackets here we need to select the fields from january till december january field is k5 is to v5 then close bracket or else you can even in the same way how you have dragged all these even you can just drag it from january till december i'll show it to you for the next employee here equal to sum open bracket we need to drag it here close bracket minus sum open bracket here from january we have selected from january till december then close bracket then enter so in this way we can just copy and paste it for all the employees now the balance leave formula is done here you can see the balance leaves gets calculated automatically when we enter the leaves taken for the specific months so for sample data we'll just mention as leaves taken for january is 1 2 1 0 2 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 2 2 2 2 now you can see that the balance leaves gets changed as per the leaves taken by the employee for that specific month so january month the employee has taken these leaves and just copy pasting it for calculation purpose now you can see when i copy pasting for months the balance leaves is getting changed in the same way i have i'll be entering 0 for all these months so nothing gets changed if i enter 1 for all these months you can see the dates the believe balance changes in the same way i'll be entering for all the employees now you can see that the employee has taken leaves from january till november and you can see that the leaves have been adjusted and calculated and here you can see the leave balance which is left out for the employees for that specific calendar year after taking the leaves from january till november and what are the leaves are balance left out after completing the december will be carry forward to the next coming year where we will be entering the carry forward year days of leave left over for the next following year so friends in this way we can generate or create leave register or sheet for the employees of any company so hope you understood how to create the leave register or a sheet and you how to calculate how to enter the leaves taken by the employees and how the balance leave leaves are calculated using the formula So friends hope you understood how to generate or create leave register practically using an excel sheet A leave register is an indispensable tool for any organization ensuring transparency accuracy and compliance in leave management by systematically tracking employee leave you can streamline payroll processing adhere to labor laws and maintain an organized work environment So friends hope you understood how to create or generate leave register or sheet practically using an excel sheet for any company and how to track or calculate the leave balance for that specific calendar year So friends if you have any queries or questions related to this video please do comment in the comment section I'll be happy enough to answer all your queries and if you like this video please do subscribe and share among your friends thank you very much for watching this video have a nice day